Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the dry eye series. In part 1 having covered the basics about dry eye, let us now take the issue heads on and explore the arsenal of remedies and treatment options to combat dry eye. So let's begin. The first option, the first treatment option is over-the-counter artificial tear or lubricants. Now you can consider them same as the moisturizing creams which you use for your skin. These are the moisturizers for your eyes. They are readily available in the market. You don't need a prescription for that. Now how do they work? They add moisture to your eyes. They form a protective layer in front of the eye, retaining the moisture and thereby reducing the evaporation as well, giving you a lot of comfort and relief from that irritation and gritty sensation in your eyes. Now, there are many formulations available in the market by many companies, by many brand names. My personal favorite is this one. Well, there is no brand recommendation from my side. There are no financial disclosures here, but I really love this product. And uh, which one is the best for you? You can try out different combinations or simply visit an eye care professional and he or she will suggest you the best one. The second treatment option is the use of prescription medications or eye drops, which can be obtained only after a prescription from registered eye care professionals. Now these act by increasing tear production and reducing the inflammation or redness in your eyes and are used particularly in moderate to severe cases of chronic dry eyes. The third treatment option is my personal favorite. It is known as IPL therapy that is intense pulse light therapy. It's a new, innovative and non-invasive treatment option for dry eyes and it attacks the root cause. Now, how does it work? Now, intense pulses of light are given to the meibomian glands in the eyelids to stimulate them and it improves their function and clears all the blockages, if any. This improves the secretion of the oily layer of the tear and reduces the evaporation. Studies have shown remarkable results which has proven to improve the tear film stability, relieve the symptoms of dry eyes and give overall comfort to the eyes. I myself have undergone four to five sessions, five sessions of IPL and trust me, it has worked wonders and I still thank the doctor, thank that inventor of IPL for the same because my life has changed for the better after this therapy. Let's move on to the natural remedies for the treatment of dry eyes. They say, Mother Nature can cure anything in this world and I think partly it is true to an extent. So what are the natural remedies? Number one is warm compresses. Hindi mein jise kehte aakho ki garam sikai karna. So how do you do that? Take a clean hanky, hanky lena hai, usko iron karna hai, make it warm enough but not too hot as well. Test it on your forearm and make sure it does not burn your skin. Put it on closed eyes for at least 10 minutes repeat it for both the eyes you can do it once a day and it is enough and it will work wonders the second natural remedy is including omega-3 fatty acids in your diet how do you ensure that if you are a vegetarian eat lots of nuts flax seeds chia seeds and if you are a non-vegetarian you can consume fatty fish as well but if you feel that your diet is still deficient in omega-3 then go for supplements for the same last natural remedy which you can opt for is blinking Blink 10 times like this and after that close your eyes for a couple of minutes and deep breathe. That's it. You can repeat this exercise at least once when you are working for prolonged amount of hours in front of the screen. So once every hour is enough, it will make a lot of difference or else you ensure that you are blinking continuously while working on screens at least 16 to 20 times in a minute either of them will work. Now I will give you some lifestyle tips to prevent this dry eye syndrome because it is rightly said prevention is always better than cure. So listen to it carefully. Number one, have a balanced nutritious diet and maintain adequate hydration. I have talked about it in detail in my previous videos. The link is in the description below. Please go check it out. Number two, tackle digital eye strain. Again, I have covered A to Z, everything about digital eye strain in my previous video. A video which should not be missed for sure. Please go check it out now. Link in the description again. Last but not the least, maintain an ambient indoor environment while working on screens. If you can afford, please go for a humidifier in the room. 
which will maintain adequate humidity and prevent excess tear evaporation. Also make sure that the air from the AC vent does not directly hit your eyes or else it will increase the tear evaporation rate thereby leading to dry eyes. Well that's a wrap on our eye educational journey in part 2 of the dry eye syndrome. So we have explored a treasure trove of remedies both medical and natural to combat these pesty dry eyes. Stay tuned for more engaging content because this is definitely not the end. If you haven't yet hit that like button please do that. Subscribe to the channel, push that notification bell so that you never miss a beat. So until next time keep your eyes healthy and happy. See you around.